Hey guys, it's Lego Nana from Lego Nana Comics and more, and today I'm doing the review of the Malemican Falcon, set number 75105. It has 1,329 pieces, comes with six figures, costs 250 Australian dollars and 150 US. This is the biggest set released in the 2015 Force Awakens line. Without further ado, let's get straight into this Lego review. Lego Nego, comics and more. Okay, first up we're doing the minifigures. This is uh, old Han Solo here. Really like that jacket there, really represents the one in the film. There's the side. There's the back, just a bit of wrinkles there. There's the side. There's the front again, really like that leg printing there. Also really like the old face here, really represents Harrison Ford, Ford's older look. And this figure is a clear improvement from the other Han Solo figure, Lego made about five or six years ago. Lego's really stepped up their game in minifigure quality since that time. Like, look at the comparison of jackets. This one is so much more detailed. Okay, and our next figures are Tasu Leech and a gang member. I think these figures are quite good. I think they really represent the characters, even though they weren't featured much in the film. I really like this style of guns. I think they really represent pirates. I also like his hairpiece there. Now I like the print. I like how this is a full body print here. I think it really brings out the detail. I also like this guy's full body print. There's the sides. There's the back. Excellent back printing on these figures. I really like it. There's the other sides. Here's the front, and I really like how this this is sort of like a gunmetal silver. I think it really represents an actual silver that you see in the film. Let's just see if these guys have alternate faces. Yes, there's Tassie Leech's alter, alternate face, and no alternate face for this character. Next we have two backer. Now let's look at this figure. Firstly we've got this gun here. This is a really cool accessory. It actually shoots. Now that's really cool and that fires really far. This is such a cool crossbow. Next we have this fur. I love this fur. This is painted on so well. The different textures really gives it a legitimate film plus feel, feel. Plus this silver. Oh, I love it. On the side, that's what he looks like. On the back, not much. There's the other side. Now again, like Han Solo, this is a clear step up from the last one. This is the last Chewbacca. Look at that step up. Look at how much extra colour they added. And look at the different moulds for the heads. Oh, I like this one so much more than the old one. Next up we have Finn and Ray. Now first up I really like this jacket here. I think it's really cool. I also like the hair here. This is a new hair model for him. I really like it. And Ray, I love how the print goes all the way through her body to her pants. I really like that. And I also love this hair mold up here. There's the side. There's the side. There's the back. There's the back. I like how there's back printing on him. Okay, let's look at the, look at the alternate faces. First up for Finn. There's Finn's alternate face, an angry version. Next up is Ray's alternate face. Just a normal face. Okay, next up we've got the Millennium Falcon itself. Now firstly, this is sort of like the old Millennium Falcon, just there's more new detail all around it. As you can see, I'll just do a 360. Now this is really, really, really cool. I like this up here. This is, it used to be a circle in the old one, but now it's a square like it is in the new Force Awakens film. That's a really cool detail. I also love this cockpit design here. I like the prints. This is all a print, not sticker. That's a stick up there though. 
I also love how they got this nice curve around the back. I think that's really cool. And I like these motors there. Those are really, really good. And I also like, uh, if you look up there, these are pretty cool. And also, there's this gun that swivels, which is a cool play feature. Co corresponding gun on the bottom there. The bottom doesn't look great, but it looks acceptable. I don't like how there's white showing through there and red. It's not very cool, but this is a really good build, plus it's pretty robust. Okay, next, now we're going to look at the play features of the set. So, let's take an interior look. All these bits flip up. Which is really cool, it gives you a full access to the thing. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, up here, this is the chess board from the uh, which you know the classic line let the bookie win there's a little chess board that's a print there and it's a shield piece I really like that then we've also got this little bit there which is like a technician seat it's really cool uh, then you've got a sticker there it's a bit hard to see but there's a sticker right there next up around here we have the beds there which they sleep on Nothing that interesting, just some beds. Then we've got the uh, the like teleporter here, which makes them go in hyperspeed. This is really cool. These are both uh, stickers here, but I really like the build for this. I like how these are a magenta color, which is a color you don't get much in Lego. There's a bit of rubble around here, it's pretty cool. Uh, then these are the real cool features. If we can just get a good angle in on here, this is a little place to hide a figure. Now that you can hide it, you can fit a full figure in here, which is really cool. Let me just get out a figure I have. Here is Finn. We just remove this gun, and he's hidden. That's pretty cool. Next, we have over here. On the corresponding side, we've got this here, which is a little bridge down. So you can't actually fit a figure underneath, but it works all right. I guess if you had it propped up a bit more, you could fit a figure, but that works all right. Now let's take a really good look at this cockpit. So the cockpit, it can fit two people squeezed. So that's what it is there. There's just It's not very detailed in there, but I don't really expect it to be. Uh, you can just fit one figure there. And then one figure behind, just. It's pretty tight in there, though. Uh, next up, we've also got these play features here, which is, if you look in here, there's a little button. And that button, if you press down, ready? Cross one on this side. That's really cool. And also, up in here, you've got, this is the spinning turret. But if you open this up, You get this here, which is really cool. You can fit two figures on that, and that's like they're manning the gun turrets, which is really cool. Uh, I think that's it for the Malemican Falcon. Thanks. Okay, that's the end of the Malemican Falcon video. I hope you enjoyed it. My final thoughts for this set is really, really good. It was a good price. It wasn't the best price to part ratio, but for the figures I got, the iconic figures I got, and the set. It was definitely worth it. I think the whole build in the set is really good. It's robust. It's good for kids. It's good for collectors. I think it's, it will be a set that LEGO collectors and Star Wars fans love for a long time. Thanks, guys. LEGO Nader out.